Good this morning, Bath County High School, and welcome to BCTV. This week's honors board student is Lane Easton. Ms. Wingate selected Lane because he is a very hardworking Spanish one senior this semester. Lane will do anything that is asked of him respectfully and without question. Everyone appreciates how Lane's work ethic and personality contribute to a positive classroom environment. Keep up the great work, Lane. A big congratulations goes out to the Bath County High School Band. The Bath County High School Marching Band performed at halftime of the U University of Kentucky versus University of Southern Mississippi football game on September 3rd alongside the University of Kentucky's Marching Band. This marks the third straight year the band was invited to this event. Bath County Band Director Rob Rawlings stated the Bath County performance rep represented our school, community, and families with class and excitement. We are very proud of our Wildcat Band performing with their Wildcat Band. Students, Mr. Remy will be staying after school on Wednesdays unless otherwise announced if students want to get ahead to start on projects for our upcoming competitions. Any student who has been in art club or is in art in the art class is welcome to stay. The Youth Loop is open to high school juniors who have at least a 3.0 GPA and have held at least two leadership roles within the school or community. The students' photographic displays will be showcased at the Fayette Mall in Lexington and within the community. Deadline to apply is September 30th, 2016. Applications are available in the guidance office. Would you like to be a member of the Superintendent Advisory Council? The goal of the council is to identify potential student leaders who will assume a dynamic role in shaping Bath County's future. The Superintendent Advisory Council is open to students in grades 9 through 12. You must have minimum 2.25 GPA and 94% attendance. This also requires two letters of recommendation from teachers or school administrators. Deadline to apply is September 23, 2016. Applications are available in the guidance office. If you are interested in running for an FBLA office, please sign up with Ms. Robinson by September 15th. Voting for FBLA officers will take place during the first club meeting in September. Freshmen are not eligible to run. If you would like to join uh, FCCLA, the Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America, the dues are $15. You can pay Ms. Lane in, in room 215 or Ms. Ramey in room 213 by September 19th. Any student who has ever had Ms. Lane or Ms. Remy for class or who is currently enrolled in one of their classes or who will be with them after Christmas is eligible to join. The dues for ER, formerly known as FEA, Future Educators Association, are now five, uh, $8 and is due by September 19th to either Ms. Lane or Ms. Remy. Back by popular demand, it's the Sullivan University's two-day ACT review course. The Sullivan University ACT Review is held on Saturday and Sunday, one week prior to the National ACT Test Date. All students will receive four hours of ACT prep in English and reading, and four hours of ACT prep in math and science. Lunch will be provided. There is a cap of 80 students per weekend. The cost for both days is $80. Lunch and study guide with CD are included. The next ACT prep dates are October 8th and 9th, beginning at 10 a.m and ending at 2.30 p.m. Please stop by the counselor's office for more information about the ACT review course. Moorhead State University will be having its fall open house on Saturday, October 1st. At open house, you'll learn how to become a part of Eagle Nation. Registration begins at 9 a.m. at Budden Auditorium. You will talk with faculty and advisors from academic programs, meet with staff about financial aid and scholarships, learn more about student services like housing, dining, tutoring, and career planning, Go on a campus tour and apply for admissions, and MSU will waive your $30 application fee. Seniors, the UK campus visit has been scheduled for Tuesday, October 25th. Those seniors interested in going must complete an online admissions uh, application at applyuk.com. Verification that you have applied must be sent to Ms. Porter via email or print out a hard copy. Deadline to submit verification to Ms. Porter is Friday, October 21st. The $50 application fee will be waived for all students attending the trip. In sports news, Wednesday, the volleyball team will be playing well Powell County at home, and the girls' golf team will play at Eagle Trace. Thursday, we have the volleyball team traveling to Robertson County. The girls' soccer team will play at Montgomery County. The boys' golf team go to the 
to Morgan County, while the boys' soccer team have a home match against East Carter. On Friday, it's time for football as BCHS football team travel to Morgan County, and finally, on Saturday, the volleyball team go to Montgomery County, and the cross-country team go to Mason County. Well, that's it for today, but remember, a teacher is never a giver of truth, he is a guide, a pointer to the truth that each student must find for himself. Have a great day, Bath County High School, and we will see you right back here tomorrow morning.